Hello, hello, my dear students. How are you? Hello, very good. Good evening. Good evening. Well, I am very glad to have the opportunity to be here once again. Right, sorry for the inconvenience. I was finishing the previous class with the previous group, but I am here. Okay, thank you for waiting this uh, couple of minutes for me, but I am here. You said, haha, the teacher is not coming. We are not going to have the presentation. Aha, but I am here. <laughs> you are going to have your presentations. <laughs> Good evening. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. ¿Hace cuánto hicieron su última presentación? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, Good evening. hello. Good evening. ¿Hace cuánto en su vida hicieron su última presentación en clase? A long time. <laughs> A long time. A long time. Ago. <laughs> Yesterday you were saying de cartulinas. <laughs> But now you are not going to use it. Don't worry. You're not going to use the cartolina. Well, I, I don't no. know if you did it, but good. <laughs> so we're going to start today by, uh, well, first of all, I want to ask you, how are you? How was your day? That's my first question. I want to know that. How are you and how was your day? I was tired. Fine. Was, thank you. It was fine. It was tidy. Fine, fine. Cool. Yeah. cool. Thank it you. It was good. I'm feeling like a winner. Oh, yeah, you feel like oh. a winner. And you look like you're very elegant today. Thank you. Yes. So, uh, yeah, today was a very hot day. And I thought it was going to rain a lot, but it didn't. I was waiting for a big storm, but no, it didn't happen. Well, so let's start today. I am very glad that all of you are here, that you could make it to the class and for sure that you have your cameras on, that I can see your beautiful faces in my class. That tells me a lot about you because I can actually see you participating and producing the language. So we are going to go with different volunteers. So if you want to start sharing your family tree, you can do it. So you can say like, I want to be the first one teacher. The sooner, the better you say. Entre más pronto, mejor, it says the phrase. Me? Uh -huh. Okay, <laughs> Maria Delia, go ahead. Okay, okay. Uh, hello, classmates and teacher. Hello. I will be pleasure to share with you my family tree. Uh, I don't know if you can watch. Yes, okay. we can it's see. It's smaller, it's a smaller. Um, we we'll start with my mother. Mm -hmm. Her name is Teresa, and my father, his name is Manuel. They have three, three children, and me, Maria Delia. Good. My my brother Adolfo, and my sister Elsa. In my case, I have two children. And my daughter, her name is Samantha. And my son, his name is Kevin. And next, and my brother and my sister-in-law, they have two boys, um, Adolfo and Gerardo. And my sister and my brother-in-law, they have two children, uh, a girl and a boy. The boy is Walter, his name, and her name is uh, Priscilla. Excellent. They are all my family, and thank you for your attention. Yay! Okay, okay. I, was, I would like you to send reactions to your friend. Very nice. Very, very beautiful, right? Very beautiful presentation. Excellent job. Thank you very much uh, for your presentation. Now, who is going to be the next one? Who's going to be the next one? Me, teacher. Go ahead. Bueno, bueno. Oh, what a beautiful thing. <laughs> okay. Uh, my family tree. Um, 
Eh, this is my mother, Maria. This is my father, Raúl. This is my sister, Marta. My sister, Norma. My sister, Cristina. And me. I have three sisters. Uh, I'm married with uh, my husband, Luis. And we have a song, Axel. Excellent job, right? Very beautiful Thank family. You. Three reactions for your friend, please. Great job. What a beautiful Thank thing. You. Very good. Very it good. was very excellent. Very nice. Okay, who's next? Who's going to be the next one? Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed. Come on. <laughs> the democratic thing. Nady? Uh, okay, don't don't feel don't feel bad if you don't have something prepared. But if you have the idea on how to share about your family, you can do it as well. So like my family is a small, I have two brothers, two sisters, right? You can give the specific details, right? It's not necessary that you have something big ready. But the idea is that you teacher, participate. Uh -huh. Teacher, I have a problem with the camera. Okay. Uh -huh. But, but uh, my my family is a smaller too. My my father name is Belarmino and my mother's name is Leticia. I have two brothers, one brother Belarmino and one sister Leticia. My brother has a, a girl, her name is Gabi. I am married with Sandra. We have two children, Oscar and Paola. Excellent, very good job. Very nice explanation about your family reactions for Oscar, please. Thank you very much. Thank you. What a nice job you did. Nice very good family. job. Very nice family. Who is next? The teacher of my family is small. Huh? Go ahead, you can. <laughs> and is my mother, is my, my husband, three brothers, and my mother, and I living. Um, I living. My mother is Anna. My sister is my sister. No, John sister is Sulma. And my brother uh, is Gabriel. Um, is my sister Selena and me. Is, I have three. Oh. Three brothers, uh, Ana Maria, <laughs> in, in my dad. <laughs> okay. My dad. Excellent job. Okay, Ana Maria, very, very good. good job. Excellent job, Ana Maria. Oh, Thank you for sharing good. about your Thank family. You that was very, very, very nice. Rosa Maria, you have your hand up. Thank you, Ana Maria, for sharing. Very beautiful. Thank you. Uh, let me introduce my family members. My mother's name is Otilia, and my father's name is Pablo. He work. He work. Is a taxi driver. Uh, Tanya is my older sister. She is a teacher. My brother's name is Darwin. They are the parents of my nephew. His name is Mateo. He's one year old. Javier is my older brother. Uh, my sister Marcela uh, like dance very much. And e, my, e, I have two brothers. Uh, their name is Eliseo and Leonardo. 
Y por último, my sister Selena. He, his name is, her name is, eh, Selena es mi padre de paz. My family is big. Eh, we are eh, nine members. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, excellent. Excellent job. I really love big nice. families. Very nice presentation. Big family. Big families are beautiful <laughs> because you can have a lot of fun on the parties. Let's see, <laughs> who's next? Uh, in the end of the at the end of the presentations, I'm going to give you some details about specific corrections that we can make. Okay, uh, who's next? At one, at two. Mr. Santos, tell me about your family. Hello. My family <laughs> is very small. Uh, only my father, my sister, my wife, and my son. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's a very small family. And who do, small. who do you live with? Oh, only my wife and my son. Okay. My father live in in San Sonata. Excellent. Uh, so, very good thing. You have a small family and that's fantastic. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Reactions for Santos, please. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you, very Santos. Nice. Very beautiful presentation. Okay. Let's see, Mr. William Martinez, just because you are very elegant tonight. Tell me about your family. Okay, I, by the elegance, I have, mm, my family is, is is some different because it's my mom. I live with my mom, Anna, mm -hmm. and my sister, Sylvia. And my brother, Henry, he lives uh, at Texas. Okay. And, and, we, and, uh, and we are living with uh, Perla, Luna, and Kira. They are pets. Okay. <laughs> Hey, it is nice when you include the pets as part of your family, for sure. Yes, they are like the little kids of the house. Yeah. Thank you very much, William, for uh, describing your family. Let's see. Catherine, would you like to go next? Okay, teacher. Hello, everybody. Hello. Uh, I will talk about my family tree. Is she? Oh, what a beautiful thing. Oh, okay, she is my grandmother. Her name is Berta Lizayana, and she is my mother. Her name is Beatriz uh, del Carmen, and I want to um, uh, uh, um, uh, She has uh, two, bro two children. They are uh, Jennifer and Ivan, and my mom. She has a three son, three daughters, I'm sorry. And they name uh, Darling, Naomi, and me. And I wanna to, I want, I, I have a two, I have a one niece, their name, his name is, I'm sorry, her name is, <laughs> is, is I forgot the name. <laughs> <laughs> Let's call it Maria. <laughs> no, it's uh, Leilani. Leilani Alicia. Okay. And, and, and I live with my I live with my little sister and my grandma. And my mom lives with uh, another sister with my aunt and my and my uh and my and my another sister. That's it. Okay. Thank you. No, it was it was very nice. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for presenting, Catherine, presenting your family. That was a very, very great job, the one that you did. Very beautiful. Let's see. Let's continue now with Fatima Guadalupe. Would you like to share us about your family? Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening, honey. Um, my family. Uh, we are six, uh, my mother, Sandra, my sister, Claudia, my daughter, Sofia, my son, 
Fernando. Um, and me? Fatima, my, um, my dog uh, is Chelsea. Oh. <laughs> um, Solomon. Excellent job. Thank you. So a small but nice family, including Chelsea. That's very good. Very beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Reactions for your friend. Mr. Ciro, go ahead. Yes. Uh, they are my parents. Their name is their name are Francisca and Humberto. And they have two daughters and two sons. Uh, my, so she's my elder sister, her name is Dinora. And he's my brother-in-law. Her his name is Joaquin. They I have our daughter one two songs. Okay. Uh, my second sister is uh -huh. Marina. Her, her husband name is Marcial. They have one girl and one boy. My dear brother is Oscar. His wife's name is Gladys. They have two girls and one boy. And this is me. My name is Ciro. My wife's name is Emma. And we have one girl and one boy. Very good That's job, it. very good job. Yeah, Zero, was, were you going to mention something else? Excuse me? Uh, were you going to mention something else? Que si iba a mencionar algo más porque yo lo interrumpí. No, no, that's it. Okay, very good job, Zero, congratulations. I am very, very glad of the description you did about your family. Excellent job. Very good. And so, Let's go here. We're going to go with, uh, let me see, Mr. René Murillo, would you like to continue? Um, hi, Hello. Hello. Uh, in my home live uh, four people, and my wife, Sabrina, and I have two beautiful daughters. Uh, Denise and Natalia, and that's all. Short family, very, very nice and beautiful. Thank you very much. Congratulations you. on your presentation. Very beautiful presentation about your family. Yes, Rosa Maria, did you have a question? Uh, Rosa Esmeralda, go ahead. Um, my family, um, they um my mother uh -huh. uh, my father and you um my brother Luis. um you my husband and children and doctor that's she okay so that's it how many children do you have two right one son and one daughter uh Two children. Uh-huh. So you have two, uh, two children, one boy and one girl. Um, one children and one daughter. Okay, very good job, Rosa Esmeralda. Thank you for sharing about your family. That was very, very beautiful. And thank you very much for sharing this a little bit with us. Okay, excellent job. Let's see, Mr. Jaime. Oh, your microphone. Sorry, teacher. Go ahead. Good, good evening. Good evening. Good, evening. good evening, everybody. Um, I I live only only with my mom. Uh, actually, my mom uh, she she traveled the United States. This is my family. Oh, only, only my mom. Uh, uh, <laughs> only in I, your mom, your mom and you. <laughs> I I don't have a children. And no pets, cats and dogs. Okay. So, so, oh, only, uh, only a bird. Only a bird, and then <laughs> your mother and you. <laughs> yes. That's a my very... family. Uh -huh. My family is birds. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Un montón Good. de pajaritos, periquitos. 
Oh, you see, <laughs> you have a lot of members in the family. That's very, very nice. Thank you very much, Jaime, for sharing about your family. Let's share some reactions there. Claps for Jaime for sharing about his family. Excellent job. Thank you. Now let's go with uh, Sandra. Okay, Sandrita. I cannot listen to you, honey. Maybe because of the microphone. No, I can, I think. Yes. Uh, my family is small. Uh -huh. It is formed by my son and my husband. I come from a big family. I have four, bro four brothers and two sisters and my parents. Okay, and that's your family. Small and nice. <laughs> okay, reactions for Sandrita. Thank you very much for sharing about your family. Very beautiful because you see, a small but nice family. Very beautiful thing. Thank, Thank you. you. Let's see, Rosie Hernandez, would you like to share about your family? Hello. Hello. Uh, my, my family is, is a big. My parents have a six boys, big boys, five girls and, and one boy. Uh, my, my family, is uh, for my husband have uh, two children, Rodrigo and Adrian. Don't, I don't have pets for the moment. Okay, very good. for the moment, right? <laughs> Maybe in the future you are <laughs> going to have you are going to have uh, some pets, but that's very nice. Thank you, Rocio, for sharing about your family reactions for Rocio, please. Some claps Thank there. You. Very Thank good job. You. Thank you. <laughs> Let's see, Ana Lidia. Miss Ana Lidia Hernandez. And if not, we can receive Mr. Edwin. Edwin Ernesto. Hello, everybody. Hello. Uh, I have a small family. <laughs> yes. uh, how do I say compost? <laughs> it's formed form by. Okay. It's formed by my wife and two boys. And I am... So uh, we have two pets, two, mm -hmm. a cat, and a dog, and that's all. <laughs> and that's your family. Hey, that's very <laughs> good. Thank you very Thank much. You. Excellent. Excellent. Very good job. Hey, Ana Lidia, you're back. Oh, you left. Hmm. Justo cuando creí que la tenía. Okay, let's see. Let's continue with Mr. Erasmo. Hello, good evening. Hi. Um, Hello. Uh, my, my family is um, uh, my father uh, is uh, Erasmo. Uh, my mother has Maria El Transito. Um, my sister uh, her Reina. Uh, my person is uh, Erasmo. Um, my wife um, is Miss uh, Kers Lorena. Um, uh, children, three children. Um, one boy is um, is uh, Erasmo. Um, uh, uh, um, daughter uh, Valentina y Celeste. Um, in my family exists. Um, Three Erasmus. <laughs> yes, I can hear that. That you have three Erasmus in your family. That was that was very nice. So very good job. 
Very good job. Thank you, Erasmo, for sharing about your Erasmus family. Thank <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. Hey, I found new reactions. That's cool. Let's see. We're going to continue with Mr. Oscar Lopez. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. My family is big in the big in, in the we are in the seven seven brother and four sister. Uh, my my parents is dead, uh, but but mom uh, his name was Angel. Um, my my father Victor. Uh, don't uh, I have uh, two pet. Uh, one is dog, and the other is parakeet. parakeet. It's a parakeet. A parakeet. parakeet. Yes, only. Okay. My God, you have a very big family, right? Imagine almost how many how many brothers and sisters? Seven and four? Eleven. Total, eleven. Oh, my goodness. Well, very nice. Very beautiful family. I mean... It's big and nice reactions for Oscar Lopez. Thank you very much. Wow. Yeah, it's a very, very big family. <laughs> Let's see. Who am I missing? Who am I missing? I am missing one. Who am I missing? Two am I missing? Ana Lidia, are you back? She's connecting. A ver, ¿quién más me falta? No. Oh, Nady. Nady, I have, aha, uh -huh, Nady. Go ahead. Go ahead. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, my family is quiet, small. It is not up of my mother, Elsa. I have two brothers. And my sister Rosemary and my brother Luis, and my husband Rafael, and our boy and our boy Rafa. Okay, only. only that. Okay, nice and beautiful. A small family, very beautiful. Thank you very, very, very much Thanks. for sharing, Nady. Very good job. And let me see. Let me see, who am I missing? Mr. René? No, I asked you already, right? René Murillo? Yes, I asked you already. Let's see. <gasps> My God. ¿Quién me falta, chicos? I think I, I cover everybody, right? Creo que ya los cubrí a todos. Yes? Yeah. Good. Yes, I think... Yeah, René Murillo. No, but uh, he already. Mr. René Murillo, Mr. René Murillo. Hello, Tania. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah he was, he was the, yeah, he, he passed already. I have pero, pero lo digo otra vez. No, lo, ya lo tengo en la lista, <laughs> no se preocupe. Okay, so thank you very much. We're, we have Tania Karina. Hello, Tania Karina. Hello, teacher. Do you have your, your family tree ready? Tania, ¿preparaste la información de tu familia? Poor Tania, I mean, she was just entering. It's like, exam. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm prepared. Maybe I'm going to avoid her later on. Well, some things that we need to remember at the moment of presenting or at mentioning things, when you say, like, my family is smaller, you say, my family is small. Right, my family is small. And when you say, I have a, a girls, you say, I have one, uh, two girls, three girls, four girls, right? But you cannot say a girls because a is only for singers. Wow. It's yeah. only for one. Uh, when you say, I living with my mother, 
you say, I am living with my mother. Or, or you can say, I live with my mother. Okay, there you have the two options. When you say, for example, uh, they are two daughters, you can mention, I have two daughters or they have two daughters, right? And the pronunciation is daughters, daughters. Also the pronunciation of the word parents, parents, mis papas, right? Parents. Let's see the other one. My family is a big, you say. My family is big. Big. You're gonna say a big. Uh, I have a two childrens. You cannot say a two, and you cannot say childrens because that is not possible. Children doesn't have a plural form. So in this case, you say I have two children. Uh -huh. Just like that, right? I have two children. Uh, let's say. Let me see another one. Ah, when when you are presenting, for example, you cannot say e mi mamá e my mom. Right, you say, and my mother, and my father, you're going to say E, right? That's a very common mistake, right? That's a very common mistake. And someone mentioned E por último. You say like, and finally, right? And finally. And it says, uh, let me see. Uh, I want an aunt. Say, I have an aunt. I have an aunt. And she has a two children. She has two children she has a three dollars no three daughters no you say she has three daughters and i have a one niece you're gonna say a one because it's the same meaning one and one i have a niece or i have one niece and uh, those are the only things that i can mention ah when you say i have a six uh, siblings in this case because you have mixed boys and girls if you tell me I have a six brothers, first, you don't have to say a six. You say, I have six brothers. And you say, if you have boys and girls, you have to say, I have six siblings, five girls and one uh, boy. And I think those are the mistakes that I got. Ah, something important. When you say, my sister, her name is, you are mixing two things. Mi hermana, su nombre es, that's something that we say in Spanish. But you say like, my sister is Juanita, right? Or the name of my sister is Juanita, or Juanita is my sister. But if you say, my sister, her name is, it's like, mi hermana, su nombre es, it's very from Spanish. It's like if you are traducing, when you are translating something from, from Spanish to English. So you say, my sister is Erika, for example, you can say. You don't say my sister, her name is. It's not really necessary. So that's those are my comments about your presentations. I am very glad because you present in a very good way. So claps for everybody. Hey, you did a Thank very you. good job. You did a very, very, very good job. So after this set of presentations, okay, ya fuera nervios, ya no le ya no voy a hacer ningún otro nombre, <laughs> ya no van a presentar. Don't worry. But it's good, right? I really wanted to have this mini mini presentation thing for you to have this exposure on 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 speaking, right? Está bien que tengan esta exposición a, a hablar, a ya decir, bueno, sí, yo puedo, estoy aprendiendo inglés y miren. I boy avanzando. I will make mistakes, but it's okay. Okay. And it's good when you go and say and you present in front of people. No vamos a equivocar, vamos a cometer errores. It's okay. But the idea is that you produce, right? The idea is that you produce the language. So thank you for sharing your family trees. That was a very, very beautiful thing. I am going to tell you about my my family. It's my turn to present. Right, I am going to tell you a little bit about uh, my family tree. Um, I have a very small family. We are only four members. My husband, my kid, my dog, and me. That's my family. <laughs> if I talk about the complete family, woo, I am going to, no, I am not going to finish today because my father has 10 brothers and sisters. Right, wow. he has 10 siblings, 
And my mother has like 10 siblings as well. So I come from a wow. very big family. Imagine the parties, right? <laughs> Before COVID. Ah. <laughs> it was like, hagamos una fiesta chiquita solo con la familia. Only the family was like 100 people. It was like, no. But now my, my nuclear family, my close family, it's just my husband, my kid, and Kiara, the dog. Oh. That's it. And one or two geckos that I have. And maybe a mouse or, or a rat that comes and visits. <laughs> so that's my family. We are very, we are a very small, a very small family. Okay, let me see if you recognize these pictures that I am going to show you right now. Can you identify them? Yes. Who are they? Ah, they are famous people, right? Yeah. Do you know the relationship yeah. that they have? Yes, with the son. Uh -huh. the Actor. They are actors, right? They are actors and actresses. Singers too. They are singers. Good. Hmm. Uh -huh. What is the, the wife? The wife. Family. They are family members. Uh huh. Do you know the relationship that they have? Someone. The wife. Uh huh. For example, uh, number one, Catherine. The the number Jones. one. It's a, a young daughter, Michael Dollar. Mm, is she the it's daughter? Wife. No. Ah. It's, it's wife. It's wife. Wife. <laughs> wife. Believe it or not, believe it or not, uh, Catherine Zeta Jones is Michael Douglas' wife. 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 You're going to be like, what? Really? <laughs> And yes, it's the wife. She's the wife. What about Enrique Iglesias and Julio Iglesias? Enrique. They are father and son. So if you create a sentence, how would you make it? Enrique Iglesias is the son of Julio Iglesias. Aha, Enrique Iglesias is the son of Julio Iglesias. And with the contraction? Oh. Julio, fathers, Enrique Iglesias. Ah, mm, you say, Julio Iglesias is Enrique father. Iglesias father. father. Okay. Or on the contrary, why? Enrique Iglesias father. is Julio Iglesias son. son. Okay, what about Francis Ford Coppola and Nicolas Cage? What is their relationship? I don't know. Uh -huh. I, don't know. I don't know. What do you think? Maybe father? Maybe father? father? No. Mm. Father in law. <laughs> it's the father in law, you say. Indeed, it is the uncle. Oh. Uh, Francis Ford Coppola is Nicolas Cage's uncle. Oh. So he is his aunt. Okay, oh. if he is his uncle, what is the relationship with Nicolas Cage? He is the aunt. nephew, right? The nephew. 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 Aunt nephew. is tía, right? Oh. Si él es su tío, entonces nephew. Nicolas Cage sería su sobrino. Nephew. 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 What about Annette okay. Begging, Annette Benning and Shirley MacLaine? I don't know. I have no idea. Okay, Annette Benning and Shirley MacLaine, they are uh, sisters in law. They are sisters in law. Wow. And so they are they have this relationship. So Annette Benning is a Shirley McLean sister in law. That's the relationship that they have. So you see, maybe now they are separate or something, but that was the relationship that they had before. Good. That was good for you to come your to come and put your knowledge into practice. Let's create some sentences with uh, the formula that we were using yesterday. So I am going to go here and you have the example. Maria, oh, sorry, Joseph is Maria's uncle. So on the result, Maria is Joseph's niece. Mm. Liz is married to Peter. So Peter is... Liz's husband. Liz's, right? Uh, Remember Liz's the, husband. the apostrophe is Liz's, Liz's husband. Um, Liz's um, husband. husband. I am single. 
And then you have married. I'm married. I'm married. If I am single, I'm not get married. I'm not married. I am not married. 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 Right? If I'm I am single, married. I am not married. We have two children, and we have here in the parentheses. We have one son and one daughter. We have one son and a daughter. Good, very good job. What about the next one? My wife's father is a painter. Father-in-law. My father-in-law is a painter. My father-in-law is a painter. Very painter. good job. Painter. My father-in-law is a painter. Number six, Michael does not have a job right now. Michael is looking for. Looking for. Michael, Michael right now. For, Excellent. Michael is looking for. for a job. Because he doesn't have a job right now, Michael is looking for a job. Good. So let's continue with the practice here. I need Fatima to help me. Can you help me, Fatima, with the conversation? Just to keep you active. <laughs> and let me see. And Jaime is going to help you. Yes, here it's Jaime. Okay, you are going to help me with the conversation along with Fatima. Oh, yes. And then Rosa is going to be with William in the next round. Go ahead. My name is Siu, yes. And Rosa is Rita, yes. Yes, please. R Rita, Rita, please say me. Okay, Rita, you can start. Fatima, you are Rita. Yes. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very, a very secret project right now. Wow. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a real life photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet him? Uh, no, my sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling the Mason. It's okay? He's traveling in the Amazon, you say. He's traveling in the Amazon. Very good job. Thank you very much. Very nice. Now, Rosa Esmeralda and William, go ahead. Tell me about your brother and your sister, Sweet. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what doesn't she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? Uh, he's a wildlife photographer. What and interest my uh, interest family? Can I meet them? Oh no, my sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Okay, yes. he's traveling in the Amazon. So you cannot meet the family because they are not here. When you say, oh, yeah. what does she do? What does she do? Right, the question. Um, I'm not sure, you say. She's working on a very secret project right now. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. Wildlife photographer. Wildlife. What an interesting family, you say. And you have to sound surprised because for sure you have an exclamation mark here, right? What an interesting family, right? And that's why you have the exclamation mark. Can I meet them? And you make the question, right? Can I meet them? Oh, no, right? The expression, oh, no. My sister is away. My sister is away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. So in this case, you can see that we are using the ING form to express what people are doing at the moment, right? You say like, what is your brother doing? Ah, he's traveling in the Amazon. Está viajando en el Amazonas, right? And in this one, what is your sister doing? Ah, 
she's away. She's not working in the United States. No está trabajando in the United States this month. What does she do? She's working in a very secret project right now. If you say she's working on a very secret project, like está trabajando en un, pro, en un proyecto secreto. No significa que lo están haciendo en el preciso momento, pero lo están desarrollando. Es una actividad que va, está en, en, en proceso. So, in this case, you are using ING forms, right? You are using continuous forms, but for activities that are taking time in the present. If I ask you right now, for example, what is your mother doing these days? What is your mother doing right now? She's sleeping. Okay, she's sleeping. Uh -huh. What is your mother doing right now? She was, she was watching TV. She's she watching, watching TV. TV she's watching TV. <laughs> <laughs> All the mothers like to watch TV. I think my mother is Maybe playing. Maybe a soap opera. She's watching a soap opera or, or playing video games. Yes, <laughs> I am. my mother loves to play video games. <laughs> so she, she might be playing one of these Candy Crush wow. things. Yeah, she loves to play. Let's see. Rosa Esmeralda, what is your mother doing right now? Rosita. Hi. What is your mother doing right now? Uh, my mother um cooking. Uh-huh. And later, um I eat um Okay, so, okay, she she's cooking right now. Yes. Hey, how nice. Save some food for me. <laughs> I haven't had dinner, so you can save some food for me. Good. Let's see. Alicia, what is your mother doing right now? Um uh, I uh I I now have my mother. Oh, you don't have your mother with you. But what is your husband doing right now? Uh, my husband is sleeping. Oh, how nice. <laughs> Rene Murillo, what are you doing right now? Uh -huh. Mr. Rene, your microphone. I'm studying right now. I am studying right now. Very good job. So this is the form to express ideas of what things are happening right now, right? What are things are happening at the moment? Let's go over here. And um, the question, what do your family members do? In this case, when you say, what does your sister do? Uh, she works for the government. You say, she uh, works in a restaurant. She works in an office. So... My question is for you, what do your family members do? Choose one person in your family and tell me what does he or she do? For example, you can say, okay, teacher, um, my wife works in an office and you can have a sentence. My sister works in a restaurant. My sister works at home. My brother works with computers, right? And you can tell me what uh, do your family members do? Rosa Maria. And my sister works in the university. My sister and works my... in the university, uh huh? Yes. And my brother. And my brother works uh, in the university. Okay, and remember sister, huh? to use the... My, no, continue, continue. Um, and Marcela is, is studying in okay. the uh -huh. Spanish. Okay. Um, Selena mm -hmm. eh, studying in the Instituto Nacional de Telena India and two brothers studying. Okay. When you use this type of sentence, you say like my sister studies 
at the university, for example. Okay, okay. And when you say, my mother works, right? In this case, when you are reporting, you use the third person singular form, right? My mother works, my sister studies, my brother uh, works in an office, right? You can use it. You can use the sentences like that. Can you give me another example of what do your family members do? Thank you, Rosa Maria, for sharing. You're welcome. Okay. Who else can give me examples of what uh, do your family members do? For example, my mom uh, cook uh, dinner and my grandma uh, prays with uh, her cell phone about candy food. And... <laughs> Okay, so my mother cooks dinner all the time and my grandmother plays in the cell phone, you see? She's very technological. Nady, what do your family members do? Um, my husband is, uh, is, sport, is sporty. Mm -hmm. And my son is, is playing playing playstation okay he's playing playstation what a <laughs> nice life he has to enjoy that uh, moment in um... the life <laughs> okay very good alicia can you tell me what do your family members do uh right now oh it can be right now or in general okay uh my husband works um, at um, at workshop. Uh -huh. Workshop is taller de mecánica. Yes, in a workshop or in a garage. The two um, forms are correct. ¿Cuál es la otra? Garage. Garage. Yes. Okay. And my son. And my son play your toys. Okay, my son is playing with his play. toys, right? It's Remember, toys. it's playing with his toys because if he's playing with my toys, I am going to to call him. Yeah. Right? He's playing with my okay. toys. <laughs> my 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 son is playing with his toys. Oh, oh okay. Uh -huh. My son, uh, he's playing uh -huh. with, uh, ¿qué más me dijo? His toys. His toys. Thank uh -huh. you. Yeah, porque si me dice, my son is playing with your toys, está jugando con mis juguetes. Y no, y tienen que ser los suyos de él, his uh -huh. my son uh, is sí, playing with sí. his songs with his songs with his toys <laughs> okay <laughs> very good job thank you very much let me see another volunteer Ciro can you give me one sentence about what uh, do your family members do okay my wife my wife is watching tv right now How my nice. daughter my daughter my daughter is a uh, working working in your pc mm -hmm. and my son is sleeping okay my daughter is working in hair pc her right PC. Uh -huh. because if you say my daughter is working in your pc she's right here in my computer right no my daughter is working in her yeah, okay. computer very good job thank you for sharing a little bit about your life and your family that is pretty rewarding and pretty nice to know about you. Now, here I have a, a, a very short example that I need you to do in your notebook, right? I need you to do this one in your notebook and for you to complete the sentence. Okay. And in this one, I have a spaces here to complete. I am going to complete it with my name so we can have an idea on how to do it. And I will say, Nati's mother is a nurse. Nati's mother is a nurse. She is working, is working, she's working in the hospital. Working in she's the working hospital. at the hospital right now, right? She is working at the hospital right now. 
She works in a hospital. Right? She's working at the hospital, or you can say she, she works, works in a hospital. In the hospital. And right now, maybe she is helping people. Okay? So this is an example of what you can do. Yes? Teacher, it's okay um, the sentence, uh, my wife is sleeping, my baby with music for sleep. Yeah, my wife is sleeping my baby, right? That she is just like uh, singing uh, songs for him, maybe, or she's playing music. Okay. Or you can say, my wife is playing music for my song. Le está poniendo música. My okay. wife is playing music for my song. Or my wife and my son are listening to music to sleep. Okay. Right? You have all these options. So what I need you to do right now is to create a sentence uh, very similar to this one. You can choose any member of your family for sure. The relationship is with you. So imagine if the sentence is created by René. I am going to use you as an example. You say René's wife is a, a teacher, for example. She is working on the lessons, she helps children, she works with kids, or she works at the university, right? You can create any uh, example like this one. So put your hands on work and I need you to write one example based on the one that I show you here. Go ahead. Yeah. Jaime, do you have it? Give when it to me. Say, when, uh -huh. you say, uh, when you say um, a feeling, you refer brother and sister, please. Uh, how do you spell or, 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 or write a feeling? I, I, ah, siblings. I, I understand, yes. Siblings, siblings. like this. Okay. Siblings. Thank you. You're welcome. Siblings. I am going to make it bigger. Similar face. Uh, uh, siblings. Oh. Siblings. Uh huh. Siblings. Se refiere a, a hermana y hermano. A yes. Uno de cada uno. Yes. Oh. Siblings is hermana hermano. Uh, Jaime, what were you going to mention? Yes. Yes. It's the same. <laughs> similar. Yes. Yeah. Rosa Esmeralda. Yes. What is your question? Uh, uh, house wife. Housewife, uh, how do you write it? I'm going to write it for you right now. You can say housewife. Yes, housewife. She's a housewife. Okay, go ahead, read me the example, please. Okay, now sister is a student. She's uh, studying in the, to the uh, school. She studies every day. And she, she trying to, she, she trying to, to learn about different, different things. Uh -huh. That's it. Okay, very good. She's a student. She is studying at the school. She is uh, doing many things and she's uh, trying to learn new things. Very good job. Another example that you want to share? Let me see. Edwin, because I have, I can see your camera now. <laughs> Go ahead. Give me your example. Mr. Edwin Ernesto. Hello. Hello. So uh, I, I didn't understand, but uh, what do I have to say? Okay, here on the screen, I don't know if you can see. Mm -hmm. it. Yes. Ahí, yes. uh, I, I wrote one example about me. You say Nati's mother is a nurse. She is working at mm -hmm. the hospital right now. She works in a hospital. She is helping people. So you have to tell me one member of your family. So for sure, it's going to start with you. Edwin's wife, for example, is a, and you tell me the profession, and you tell me what activities does she do. 
But I have to talk in third person. Uh, well, if you say she is working, you can use progressive or you can use third person. The two forms okay. are correct. Uh, Edwin's wife is, is uh, a call center representative uh -huh. and she is working uh, home right now. Uh, she works for a Central American account. Mm -hmm. And she is attending uh, customers. Very good job, right? So she is attending customers. You okay, see, <laughs> it was not it was not that complicated. Very good. So this is basically what you were doing, right? When you were creating different sentences, like are you living at home right now? Is your sister working? This is the form of the question, right? If I tell you, I am going out tomorrow, then you have like, hey, are you going out tomorrow? Are you going to college, right? Is your sister working? Are you living home? Are you living at home right now? This is the form of the questions. And with the WH thing, what are you working now? What is your brother doing these days? Who are your parents visiting this week? Okay. ¿Dónde estás trabajando ahorita? ¿Qué está haciendo tu hermano en estos días? ¿Y uh, a quiénes están visitando tus papás esta semana? Right? And there you have, they are visiting my grandmother. He is traveling in the Amazon. And I am not working. I need a job. So this is the form of questions. We are going to go in deep a little bit more tomorrow. Eh, right now it's time to go. My God, time flies when you are learning English. So please remember to continue practicing. Tomorrow we are going to go over a little bit more on this present continuous form. Continue working in the platform. Remember to answer the messages, okay? Por ahí les dejaron unos mensajes en la, de la plataforma yes. acerca de la reinscripción. Porfa, contestémoslos. Si okay. no han llenado la reinscripción, mandémosla lo más pronto posible okay. porque la oportunidad está sumamente buena Teacher, y hay que seguirla aprovechando. Esa, la inscripción, ¿dónde se puede enviar? Ok, yo creo que se las enviaron a su correo. No, es que bueno, yo tengo ese problema que a mí no me lo enviaron ni el correo ni el WhatsApp. Ok, entonces eh, contesten el WhatsApp. Eh, me imagino que vio el mensaje que enviaron ahora. Uh -huh. Entonces, sí, lo contéstele, contéstele ahí a Jason para que él le pueda enviar de nuevo los documentos, ya sea por WhatsApp personalmente o, o por su correo. Bye. Okay. Muchas gracias, teacher. Ok, have a beautiful okay. night. Thank you very much Good for staying night. with me. My God, I stole night. six minutes Good of night. your life. Bye. Have a beautiful Bye. night. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Good night. 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 Good